Operation Sea Lion was Nazi Germany's codename for the plan for an invasion of the United Kingdom in the Second World War. In 1940, the German Navy, so the Kriegsmarine, was ill-prepared for mounting an amphibious assault the size of Operation Sea Lion. Lacking purpose-built landing craft and both doctrinal and practical experience with amphibious warfare, the Kriegsmarine was largely starting from scratch. Some efforts had been made during the interwar years to investigate landing military forces by sea, but inadequate funding limited any useful progress. The Kriegsmarine had taken some small steps in remedying the landing craft situation with construction of the Pioneer Landungsboot 39, so the Engineer Landing Boat 39, a self-propelled shallow draft vessel which could carry 45 infantrymen, two light vehicles or 20 tons of cargo and land on an open beach, unloading via a pair of doors at the bow. But by late September 1940, only two prototypes had been delivered. Recognizing the need for an even larger craft capable of landing tanks onto a hostile shore, the Kriegsmarine began development of a 220-ton Marine Farpram or Marine Landing Craft, but these two were unavailable in time for a landing on British soil in 1940. The first of them not being commissioned until April 1941. It is interesting to note that the Luftwaffe, so the German Air Force, had formed its own special command under Major Fritz Siebel to investigate the production of landing craft for Sea Lion. Major Siebel proposed giving the unpowered Type A barges their own motive power by installing a pair of BMW aircraft engines and propellers. The Kriegsmarine was highly skeptical of this venture, but the Army High Command enthusiastically embraced the concept and Siebel proceeded with the conversion. As completed, the Siebel Ferry, as it was called, had a speed of 6 knots and a range of 60 nautical miles. By 1st of October 1940, 128 Siebel Ferry barges had been converted. Given barely two months to assemble a large seagoing invasion fleet, the Kriegsmarine opted to convert inland river barges into makeshift landing craft. Approximately 2,400 barges were collected from throughout Europe. Of these, only about 800 were powered to cross the channel under their own power. The rest of the barges would be towed across by tugs. These transport vessels would have remained moored off the beach throughout the day. For the landing, the first echelon of the invasion forces and their equipment would be loaded onto their barges in French and Belgian ports. Once the first echelon had been unloaded onto the beach, the barges would return to the transport vessels to transport the second echelon. The same procedure was envisaged for the second wave. Since loading of the tanks, vehicles and stores of the second wave onto the return barges and transport ships would take at least a week, the second wave could not be expected to land much less than 10 days after the first wave. The Kriegsmarine later used some of the motorized Sea Lion barges for landings on the Russian-held Baltic Islands in 1941, and though most of them were eventually returned, to the inland rivers. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.